here's the gopher grass plant. Um, you can see right here, this is the, the new seed heads. Um, they're kind of purplish when they are new. This, these seeds are not mature yet, and so it can wave around in the wind and those seeds are not gonna fall off. They're not ready to, to fall off, they're not viable yet. This is an old stem, so you see this green stem here. This one now has turned that characteristic yellow color that buffalo grass is most of the year. Here's a couple of seeds from that on that old stem. And this is where the seeds were attached. They've all dispersed at this point. And that's one of the best ways to identify buffalo grass is where the seeds have fallen off. We call this the rachis. It's just a part of the stem where the seeds attached. It's very rough. You run, run your fingers over it. And that's a great way to ID it. have one of these digging bars it's good to use the pointy end because this flat end can shear off the roots so we want to get all the roots out so really what you're using this for is just to get leverage underneath it so that it kind of loosens up the soil so you can pull it and so you can take a rock just for a little bit of leverage and then just jam it in underneath the buffalo grass kind of work it up Give it a tug and that's what you want to see you want to see the roots and especially you want to see these nodules because that's the point where it grows from and so as long as we get those out that individual plant's not going to come back it may have seedlings around it but this plant's going to die so we want to see the roots and those nodules and that's kind of key so just using that and if you're working together one person can be holding the top of it while the other person uses the digging bar to get the leverage and then just kind of gently pull and then you'll work together to kind of pull out a little bit faster.